G'day, welcome to session 54 of my Oxygen Not Included playthrough. Uh, now a few little adjustments from last time suggestions that we'll make. Um, this was just a nice little simple one that was just suggested that we want insulated pipe as opposed to... Um, Uh, as opposed to the radiant because we want we don't want the um the glass to to cool in the pipe so let's go for i guess the overheat plus 15 one that's a nice easy little fix now the other thing that was recommended that i did quite like as a suggestion is that i need to rebuild my air system because i've got such a problem with sort of how air is pushing through uh, let's have a look at our air system. No, my piping, plumbing, ventilation. So that the two of these don't... Is that around the wrong way or what have I done here? Why is that not pumping? Input, output. It doesn't have uh, power, right? That possibly all uh, I would need to do here is just buy this into is something missing there. Where did this guy go? Did I accidentally delete him at some point? What has happened there? Must have been sitting there. Um, so we want to go heavy watt wire to connect there. And then we wanted a do we need a gas uh, ventilation tube of some kind going in there too? Yeah. I must have deleted something and in turn deleted the whole thing. No one noticed that. No. I mean, I expect me to not notice it because I don't notice anything going on, but um, I'm amazed that slipped by everyone. Okay, so possibly what I could do is actually flip this guy around and connect him in there. Um, while we're waiting for his um, his setup to actually get going again, because it is really sinking us, uh, I guess, oxygen-wise, let's just have a quick look at what it would look like if I was to do that. So this would swing up here, that goes into there. And then it does take care of that so much. Uh, there's definitely a, a valid suggestion here on, on getting rid of this. There's a lot of excess piping that I could I could cut. So let's just do this for a second. And we'll say... Good pipe? No. Gas pipe. Deconstruct. Let's just start with this. And, uh, and we can put that back in once we've got this all. Does that mean that's now around the wrong way? No, that's pumping. I was pulling hydrogen from that too there. Yeah, okay. No, no, okay. So this part I'm all right with. Um, sorry for the confusion, fellas, down there. But let's get that back in there. Because this half of it, at least, it needs to go around here. Um, so that it's hitting, hitting that. This stuff here doesn't matter anymore. Let's deconstruct the gas pipe section that is here. What we want to, what I'm going to try and do is just cull gas pipe at this point. See what we can get rid of. So the next thing that I want to do is just make all of this one connection. But everything that is heading north is all heading to the same one spot. Um, let's put a priority on that too, because that really shouldn't have gone. So if we um, take the ventilation gas pipe and we take this from there and we say run to there, now these connect. It means that we can deconstruct that, that, um, get rid of that bridge, really. 
Oh, that's cool that it doesn't deconstruct that if I'm operating that way. It would only if I, be if I went across that way. Get rid of all of that. Get rid of that too. And let's um up that. And we also can cut um we can also put this to there and deconstruct all of that. All of that. Um we can actually deconstruct that too, because that can just be a straight Straight cable up there. Um, all of that. All of that. At least they're doing this quick, and the good thing as well is it's just putting oxygen into the air. Okay, so the next thing that we want to then do is um, put reconnect this gas pipe. You construct that one too. And that one. Now getting rid of that, good. So what we'll then do is once that guy. Okay, so this then connects there, and we can deconstruct all of this. All of that to there, uh, that connector, all of that. We can get rid of that too. I don't know what's happening here. It's getting stuck up. Oh, or maybe it was just because the pressure was shifting or something at this point that it just keeps resetting each time the uh, the algorithm of what it's doing changes. Okay, so that guy can now just connect direct. Uh, this guy can connect direct. We can deconstruct that one because it's an overshoot of where this is meant to be anyway. Um, we can connect that there. Okay, so everything north is all good. And there we go. So that's now a... And once I sort of stop making adjustments to it, which I think that should be it, what we hopefully should now see is a little bit more efficiency in the way that it moves, as long as it stops being so, so jumpy. Hopefully, I mean, obviously there's these guys that are um, pumping oxygen out into the world do need some, and so it's that all of the oxygen going through here does divide into um, two here. Almost every second one goes this way, and then it means that every second one here is going the opposite way. So every time this thing hits an intersection, it's being divided even even more up. So basically we need this guy here to hit um, pressure, which finally is there. So slowly that's meaning that, that more guys are going to travel north. But also the idea that, that he needs pressure is completely understandable. Like he is one of the more bottom uh, vents in the uh, in the network, like these two guys sit behind him. He's almost if if, if he's doing his job, these two can hit full pressure. Um, so he probably is the most important vent in the uh, in the setup. It's just going to make it tricky to get more oxygen past these guys. Now, looking at how that's funny that the problem here is actually that this is pressurized. I'm actually thinking 
I was I was thinking about this, and I was thinking that what I should do is actually recreate this here, and then just get rid of using the natural gas and just set up two new um, two new guys of this. Not necessarily just for the for the um, electricity, but also for the oxygen that that this is producing. Although potentially I could recreate this. And then I could shift um, this guy around here and then just create this room on this side for one guy here. But I could even build that room here, really. Let's think about this. Let's try it out. So let's um, extend the floor here across two. Let's dig out that. Is this cabling being used for anything, or did I get rid of it? Uh, what did I want? Power. No, it is still what that's connected to. It's going to make that trickier to put these guys here. It's just more that that's where I've got the, the current space for it, without having to expand too, too much in any direction. I don't really want to block this off too much either because Skimmer and, and these guys' job is to allow the carbon dioxide to get down here and then for them to work their way back up. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, six, six across. Try extending this out a tiny little bit to it's done. Uh, what did I want there? I wanted to see how the normal wire. Okay. Although I've possibly jumped the gun there because now I've allowed people to just sort of move in and out without. Uh, let's just quickly put a. I put a door in there because of this nine priority door. No, 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 Camille, <laughs> you're too slow as it is.
uh, I didn't make that with a weird thing of any kind, did I? Let's just make that a, an emergency thing to get addressed. Gold amalgam, that'll do it. Priority looks like at the moment, guys. Come on. Luckily, this is just sort of exposed to a section that was already packed with um, carbon dioxide. It's quite funny, dude, that you ran all the way around to come down and just blast one thing on there and then run off again. Perfect. Now, don't go back through that door. We're going to say no one passes through that door. We're going to tell you to move. Of course, now you can't move through that door. We'll just move to... Uh, where's the airlock here? No. Alright, well then... Here. Let's do now. Though I realize that this means that at a certain point they're not going to be able to get inside that anymore. Um, but I mean, it's Ellie, and Ellie likes to dig, so let's let Ellie dig. At, the point, at least the point they block this off will then be able to um, this will be sealed within the base and so then guys can wander in and out to So if you've just finished off the corners there, there guys. I mean, at least I can't pass through it anymore, actually. So we can now deconstruct that door. It wasn't so much about the oxygen as it was about the, um, being able to wander through into the, the greater world. There's natural gas down here too. We can see that is dormant. So we'll have a look at it, see what, what it says. Let's work with the construction there. What are you up to, Camille? Are you going to the generator? Slowly. I realize those, those two are no longer considered digging because they've collapsed. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll deconstruct that. We'll then put a ladder uh, here. We'll then put a... So how high was this one? I quite like the height of that three. So we'll go we'll put a floor there. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost one shy of how long I'd like this room, but it's all right. Hope. Okay, so let's continue our build. We want that. Uh, we would like... Ventilation, we want... Two gas pumps. Actually, we'll cancel that. We will put it one closer. I just want a really tight little room. Nah, we don't give it the space. Mechanized. Ah, mechanized airlock. Give it. We'll put it right against it. We will copy that guy. Put him there. So what we'll do too is we'll put... Because we don't want to hurt the airflow in this section. Two of them there. I'm saying we open that up, but there's hydrogen in this section here. So maybe we want that trapped in here as opposed to being able to make it deploy down. Oh. I'll just cancel those again. Okay. So, then what we do is we want to go gas pipe, up one, ah, uh, now we'll go down maybe, I think we'll just make it a little bit longer, so we'll go gas pipe this way, Oop. Annoying because those two parts already exist, so now I have to deconstruct that. And we have to make that a, a major priority. Okay, then what we can do is we can say can uh, deconstruct gas pipes, all of this, all of that. Then we want to say this guy from there straight down to there. And oh, no, what am I doing? Ventilation, gas pipe. This guy from there straight down to there. This guy from here straight down to there and across so that they join. Then they come down here. And they connect in there. We then need power. Let's have a look at our grid. Now really, that guy's using 550. It's also not being used that much. So we'll run this across. Um, go down. Straight across like that. And then we'll join the four. Now. Now this guy here, what's he connecting to? So nothing from this end is actually getting used at all at the moment either, because he's not functioning. Maybe this should be my use. Let's cancel that. 
Because at least... I don't need to get any, any more than that. Then all we have to do is just run this cable just straight up. It's gone the same path as the, um, the other tubing. You can draw in a straight line at least. No, because that's a thing right there. Right, so cancel. Cancel. Um... What do I do? I, I can do a um, conductive wire bridge there, and I'm not, I'm not super stoked about the idea of there just being one door here, but I mean, this one's got the one gap in between. I just don't have the room to do one more gap. Unless I got rid of this wall. It actually falls off this. I didn't notice that before. I do realize that half the power is also being operated by this this generator. So while I'm not supplying it with hydrogen, there's nothing getting to it. So that's probably a bit more of a priority than sort of what I'm uh, I'm saying here. So let's just make sure that they are actually uh, stinky and he's stoked about I don't know being a hand, giving a hand. Whoop. Funny little side effect of um, was it too late in the day that no one's going to worry about it? Stinky. Always rely on you, Stinky. No reason that that there actually has to. I don't understand what that one was. Okay. Lead. Are readily available as lead. Some pretty rare um things that I've got needing that. Nice work, Barney, while everyone else sleeps. Getting the job done. Now, how is this looking, actually? That's one thing I hadn't checked. Uh... certainly doesn't seem like it's slowing it down in any any way. Like these two guys, you can see they stop, but they're not like, this guy's not so pumping out anything that's a full, full square for the most part anyway, so. Whoa. Alright, we have a, a, a short-term problem with what they're going to pump out of this room. Need liquid as well. Yeah. Um...
I think I'm just gonna let it happen. I think that there's not enough. I think that there's almost all the um, carbon dioxide's out of that room already anyway. That there's no point in attempting to address it. You can see they're now just into hydrogen. I mean, whenever they come in to, to sort of do some of this piping, they're gonna gonna cause issue with it, but. their current complaint. I'm not in gas, so they've actually created a vacuum. What's happened? You got slime lungs? Sorry, stinky. Ears must have really popped when you went in there, mate. Empty pipe. No, here we go. Okay, so there we go. So the oxygen's now getting in there. And I mean, hopefully the, a few of the vents, you can see that a, a fair bit of that um, carbon dioxide is actually just going out the vents anyway, so it's not going to sort of cause harm too much anyway. I suppose the only concern I can now have is that you can see that these these guys are stopping every now and then because that's hitting a point. And then these are stopping every now and then because these two are hitting sort of like an, an intersection. I mean, ideally, the longer, like... The fact that every single square is a full, full-blown cube moving along is great. Um, it's just whether it's it's causing too much of a gridlock that there's not enough. The the amount of available hydrogen isn't actually getting through uh, to these guys. Could I? So say, should I move this to say to connect up here? But I mean, that's not really going to do too much. It's just going to cause the same problem. It's just that this section's not going to be backlogged anymore. I mean, there's potentially nothing wrong with that. Like, if I can get this up to a point where it's almost a more worthwhile point of connection, like here. Or even here. So there would then be oxygen pumping both ways along it. Let's go. Um, yeah, sort of. I spent a lot of time keeping this like trying to consolidate this down together and now I'm gonna try and spread it apart. I think like that. I think that that means that this side can address a few of these earlier things and for the most part we'll just continue to move through at a, at a quicker pace that but then here might be a I don't know. We'll move it up to there for now and see how that that looks. Because I also do feel that if I don't have enough um, movement from these, these rooms are actually going to potentially what fill either with more hydrogen or not enough hydrogen. That these two guys aren't going to continue to sort of pump efficiently. Because it's now got to do that weird thing where it resets every time a new square's built. Alright, so let's have a look at how this looks. So this side is just flat stopped. For now. I don't quite see why. 
Oh, because that's now what going to come this way too? I don't want that. It's almost like this is deciding that it's coming this way. So let's try what happens if we deconstruct that one. It's still adamant that it's going to push that way. So let's deconstruct those two. Get that in there. Not that one is still adamant now that it's going to go that way. I don't quite understand the logic of how it determines which way that's going to head. But that way is, is definitely much worse. So let's reconnect that. Let's disconnect that one there. And we are back to, I guess, what is is the most acceptable version of the the layout to the to the game. If you think there's a better way of doing that, definitely let me know, um, because I definitely I, I completely get the idea of consolidating everything into a single pipe to move it up. I, I think that the way that it was was way too complex, and this is certainly better. But I do just have a concern that these guys are stopping their production a little bit too much. These guys are possibly pumping a bit more consistently than these two are. And it might just be that I need to just, say, run this guy's pipe out and back in a bit more. Just give them a little bit more sort of room to, to move. Because it does... You can obviously see that every time, say, two squares hit that aren't full. Like, so say these those two hydrogen ones, these two hydrogen ones, they actually form and they... They do combine to make a, a, a square that is, is fuller. So that's good. Um, but once they are sort of moving beyond this point, you can see for the most part, these are all um, full. Or they're going to become full as they, they move along. As long as they're sort of pumping oxygen efficiently. It is good to see when the top I mean, these guys, I guess, are getting used more than those ones are, but... Hopefully that this does mean that there is a more constant push of oxygen that things will actually cap out. Um, I don't quite remember how the oxygen looked prior to... Um, prior to the build, whether it was as many constant sort of thick ones. I don't think it was. So hopefully we are... Um, we are in a better place. And I mean, it does mean that there are now two pumps operating one of these guys and two pumps operating the other. So what I was talking about, about that these guys might not be running efficiently, they have to be running more efficiently because they're now getting twice as much. Not necessarily twice as much hydrogen, but they're getting hydrogen from the total of two gas pipes, which is sort of where you're seeing those these consolidated blocks come in there um, than what they were getting from one, even if that one was pushing a bit more constantly. Um, So we'll see. But we will call it at the end of this evening. Hmm. Those are always sort of fun ones I find. Just trying to revisit just a complete layout to, uh, to try and refine the way you're doing it. Anyway, any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. But until next time, catch you later. See ya.